Ted, good morning to you. Just about 20 minutes ago, I said that we'd be focusing in on the 21st anniversary of the passing of Joe Slovo. It's been 21 years since the death of the ANC stalwart. Slovo, who was serving as housing minister in the country's first democratically elected government at the time of his death on 6th of January 1995, was long-serving chairperson of the South African Communist Party. The SACP will be commemorating his death while also highlighting key tenets of its program of action for 20 2016-2017. To talk to us about the ceremony, we are now joined in studio by SACP's Second Deputy General Secretary, Sali Mapeila. Hello and a very warm welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Vailam, and good morning to the viewers. Thank you so much for coming into studio. Just explain to us what some of the events will be that the SACP will be undertaking to commemorate the 21st anniversary of the passing of Joe Slovo. The main event is uh, Lean of the Wreath at the Cemetery where he's buried, uh, he's buried at the Heroes Acre at Avalon Cemetery with many other uh, combatants of whom Konto Sizo in the main and other revolutionary stalwarts uh, will be laying wreath there. And thereafter there will be speeches from the Alliance Partners and our Young Communist League um, and some of the international guests that uh, are in the country who will be at the, at the event. And thereafter, some of our comrades will then participate in what we normally do this, this time when we honor Slovo, to participate in the cleaning services of some of the nearby townships. Uh, last year, we cleaned the Chris Anibara Hospital. The previous year, we cleaned the El Dorado Park uh, uh, suburb. Um, we'll now be trying to clean some of the areas around uh, Shawel and Lamin. So I would then assume that it's open to the public and you're calling out to, to people that are in the area to come and help you with uh, the cleanup. Yeah, of course, it's a, it's a public day of, of celebration of uh, this giant life uh, of our movement, uh, on of our people. Slovo was uh, an extremely uh, a special uh, cadre of our movement, uh, who was a white man, but who gave his entire life to the cause of uh, the black majority in the main but of course to the cause of non-racialism in South Africa. Um, he was a fearless uh, combatant of our struggle. He led to the f in the front line. Um, and he had a, led by a very good example. As we also know, when he became a minister of uh, housing, he initiated very important programs, uh, which allowed, for instance, uh, uh, move immediately just after 1994 uh, for African people to stay in the cities. Uh, like the city of Johannesburg, for instance, because a, a, a apartheid government could not allow them to own houses uh, in the inner city. He championed that particular process. And, of course, the massive uh, rollout of housing uh, in the country. Of course, it was part of the collective of our liberation movement led by the ANC. If you have to take out one thing, one, one part, one highlight of of Mr. Slovo's legacy uh, as the SACP, which is the one that you hold most dear? Firstly, he was a deep intellectual uh, who provided uh, political theory and guidance uh, in terms of our ideology on how to navigate uh, many difficult uh, situations that we, 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 our, our revolution was faced with at the time. In particular, for instance, uh, his intervention when the country was just on the verge of a civil war. And uh, he proposed the, the notion of the sunset losses, which allowed um, the possibilities of the negotiating parties to reach out to one another and to make some compromises. And uh, indeed, uh, because of that, we were able to avoid uh, a civil war. You cannot imagine what a civil war could have caused this country if you were to consider how many countries that are involved in civil war the ruins that you can see in those countries. But obviously, I've heard um, some, uh, uh, the, the born free so-called, who have attacked this notion that uh, uh, the civil war, I mean, the, the sunset loss notion was a sellout notion, which actually is completely uh, untrue. It's actually devoid of the truth and lack of understanding of what was happening at the time. What, what is uh, critical at the moment is for us to rise the sunrise clause to engage uh, with the second radical phase of our democratic transition in order to ensure that the compromises that were made in order that we save many millions of lives of South Africans are actually uh, uh, reversed to transform those lives and make them better, which is what uh, one of his major contributions. And of course, his critique of uh, the international uh, socialist system and how he felt it needed to be developed 
Uh, he came in as, as an extremely different intellectual uh, to many others who had only seen uh, the communist ideas as uh, these devilish uh, ideas. But when he was engaging with this particular notion, uh, people could easily understand him. And uh, that's why most of his works were translated in over 50 languages across the world. My word. He's left us with uh, some brilliant, brilliant quotes. Uh, among them, if you stay in a suit uh, for too long, then your ideology also changes. And uh, other many wonderful quotes that we get to remember the man by. Thank you so much for coming in studio. We wish you, you as well as the party, all the best of luck um, with the commemoration services and the program that will be held today. Thank you very much. That is uh, Sali Mapeila. He is uh, the SACP second Deputy General Secretary coming to speak about uh, the commemoration of Joe Slovo's uh, passing some uh, 21 years ago.